Hello, and welcome to another episode of How to Be a Smooth Operator. I'm Vince with Barco, and today we are showing you some best practices on how to use the keying feature on EventMaster. Let's start with our Luma key. Applying a Luma key allows you to knock out the darker pixels in an image to create the illusion of transparency. You can adjust the sensitivity of the key with the clip and gain tools, creating subtle or dramatic effects. Next we have Chroma Key. The Chroma Key allows us to choose a specific color value to knock out of the image, once again creating an illusion of transparency. Cut and fill, or a linear key, is our third option. This requires a mix layer in which you will designate a layer to receive a cut signal and a fill input. The aim is to create a designated area for video to show and is typically used when creating non-square pips. Simply put, the white values in a cut signal are where you want to see video and the black is where you don't. By adjusting the clip and gain, just like the Luma key, it will allow you to follow a gradient. Cut and Fill is only available on single link and dual link layers. 4K Cut and Fill is currently unavailable. Also, if you link the layers, this will move both layers at once as opposed to moving them independently. And there's basic keying for you. So until next time, smooth operators, this is Vince with Barco. And remember, you will get the best results every time when you make your graphics with keying in mind. <laughs>